today in the house i have a health professional that will be talking to us about it compulsory then before you say i do to that beautiful young lady out there to that handsome young man out there to your lollipop to the only cockroach in your cupboard so it's going to put us through on the very or very specific very important test that any couple intending couple must do before they say yes i do to each other and he's going to throw light on them why they are important hello guys and welcome back to my channel it is your girl as always Kalista daniels in the building for my returning subscribers thank you so much you know that i love you and you are appreciated and for my new subscribers my name is Kalista daniels i'm a scientist based in Ondo state and you are in the right space because this channel is packed full with very educative content to come and if you've not watched my previous video watch my previous video and you will get to understand why you should subscribe to this channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to hit the notification button so i get notified whenever i upload a new video so sit down and enjoy this very educative content <laughs> once again to this channel thank you and we appreciate your presence in this channel thank you so what are the tests as a health professional you would advise intending couples to do before they match down the eye and the reason why they should do those tests in the order of importance from the ones you think are very important and the reason why they should be there. Okay, um, thank you very much, guys. Um, I'm happy to be in your space again. Okay, uh, before you say to that guy, I do, or before that guy says to you, I do, there are some tests that you must do before you say I do. And I'm going to be throwing light on them. The number one test there is genotype. Genotype. You, you, you got to know as a guy or as a lady your genotype before you choose your life partner. The reason is simple. Um, the rate of um, sickle cell disease everywhere today is that and i know you don't want to pass through that stress of raising a sickle cell disease um child you have to know your genotype as a guy as a lady you have to know your genotype if you are a guy who is as and you are dating someone who is as it means that you cannot marry that girl or that girl cannot marry you do you understand you have to know your genotype before you see, if she's AS and you are AS, just JJ me pathways. And be good friends. Yeah, and be perfect friends. You're right. And be perfect friends. Recently, I, I read something that the federal government of Nigeria is trying to like pass a B to reduce the rate of sickle cell disease in Nigeria. How would they do that? It's simple. It's just to put a law. To ensure that AS and AS doesn't get married. Or AS and SS doesn't get married. That is number one test. The second test there is blood grouping. When you do blood grouping, your results factor is known. Do you understand? The simple reason why you need to do this test is to prevent hemolytic disease of the newborn. Now, if a woman who is resource negative, 
get married to a man who is results positive. And the first child that they are carrying is having the same results with the father. That child is going to come out well. But subsequent pregnancy, if the woman is sensitized, what do I mean by sensitized? During the process of giving birth to this that first child, the blood of that first child can easily mix with the mother's blood, thereby sensitizing the woman that the woman be, start having antibody against resource positive children. Any other frequent resource positive children that she's going to have, she start having antibodies against them. So she called pregnancy that are also resource positive. They, they may likely come down with hemolytic disease of the newborn, but that you have to know your blood group. If you do your blood group, your results will be low. Another test that is necessary that you do. So, the results factor now yeah. is important. Outside the hemolytic blood, uh, hemolytic disease of the newborn. newborn. Can I, I think I came across something that says that the pregnancy might not even stay. The person may have Consistent miscarriage. Yeah, that is because of the uh, immunity disease. Even if, of even, if, even if she ends up carrying that pregnancy to a full term, she ends up having a student. Yeah, a child, abnormal a child. child. Abnormal child. You see a child that is will be swollen, water everywhere, the head is not well formed, the body is not well formed, fluid all over. That is why it's called eye, eye drops. Eye drops. Water everywhere, fluid everywhere. Do you understand? Even if she tends to carry the child to term, but majority of the time. Goes it goes as miscarriage. Or yeah, stupid. As miscarriage, abnormal implantation, and all of those things. So, you guys, you see why it's very important to do this first two tests. Very, you can decide not to do the rest, but these very first two are very, very important if you don't want to go through that emotional trauma yeah. of having a child. That is sickle cell. You may not be able to afford to take care of that child. You can't. You can, except you are, you have a lot of cash. And even if you have the money, the, the, stress, the, stress, the emotional, the emotional stress, stress, all of those stress. things. How will you? And imagine a stress. woman. You carry a pregnancy. Nine months is not nine days. It's not nine minutes or nine seconds. And you give birth to a stillbirth. That nine months journey has ended in the baby. Or having a constant miscarriage. Sometimes people experience they think it's the ancestors from the village. No ancestors. No ancestors. It's because probably they've not done this test. They don't even know the resource factor. And they ended up getting married. And also, I need to point out something. It means that as a woman that is resource negative, you shouldn't commit abortion. Yeah. Yeah. At all. Because that sin you committed as a young girl will find you later in future and everybody around you will get to know because now there's no way your body can be sensitized against a positive um, resource factor child if you've not been pregnant with a positive baby yeah. i hope you guys are understanding where i'm coming from so as a woman that is resource negative i beg you in the name of god Keep just, yourself keep yourself. For your just keep yourself. Just keep yourself. That's all I want to chip in before he continues with the rest of the test. Okay, um, that is number two. Other tests that you can do is these ones are actually optional, you know. Pregnancy test. I know these days many churches before you you see how you do, yeah. you have to like run pregnancy test. I remember before I my wedding, I had to like I was told that my wife should go and run a pregnancy test. You have to like do all of these tests. But outside church now, as Christians, there are people who are not Christian, who are Muslims, who are traditional worshippers. Why do you think they should do that? Me, I think issue of this paternity test that is happening, yeah. a woman getting pregnant for another man. And bringing the pregnancy into another you know, man. Yeah, why, that is the simple reason. Yeah, that is even the major that reason. Is the even that is the reason why churches are doing it also. Are doing it nothing more so that someone wants to like bring another man's child and bring it to another man. I'm 
give it you and you yeah, bring the child to another man. That is just the reason, nothing more. Right? That is the number three. And another test you have to do before you say I do is that um, HIV test. Actually, these ones are optional. Uh, there are some persons who want to like this person knows that this person is HIV positive and they still want to get married to the test. It's your choice. But I think it's important they should do HIV test because I was working in a hospital where a woman is HIV positive. Okay. And the husband, I don't mean a young married. Okay. They should be married for years now. And the man is not aware that his wife is HIV positive. HIV positive. And uh, the woman happened to be pregnant. And during the time of the leave, issues came up. She was begging us, or rather, she was begging the, the clinic not to let her husband know that she's HIV positive. So, don't you think it's important that they should do that to avoid some women or some men who are, I don't want to be. Yeah, a HIV test is necessary. It's necessary before you say I do. You have to, yeah, you got to save yourself, you got to protect yourself. Do you understand? Lady, you've got to protect yourself. That is why you have to do it. If you know this guy is HIV positive and you can't cope with it, then call up the, the wedding. As long as both of you are not joined together now, you can still part your ways. Right? You are not joined at this time. You can part your ways. Nobody wants to like bear the burden of being HIV positive. Now, something happened. I was setting a line for a patient and blood mistakenly splashed into my eyes. I was actually like mad. Not mad with the person, I was mad with myself. As in like, for a full week, I was not okay because I thought, what if this person is... I started moving my way, let me see your HIV, this thing. It was a little child anyway. I, started, I needed to go and check. It was in pediatric unit. I needed to go and check the mother HIV status just to know that I'm safe. Do you get? You do that to save yourself. So which other test? That other test you that is necessary is you can do hepatitis B test, hepatitis C test. It's just the same reason for HIV. You don't want to like. You want to protect yourself. You can do they're syphilis actually, test. Actually dangerous. Yeah, these virus are dangerous. Hepatitis B is deadly. You can't foot the B for the treatment or the management of hepatitis B. Right? But he has vaccines. But like, he does not have vaccine. You can't, you can't protect yourself from it. Just do the test to like be safe. The treatment for HBV is extremely high. One drug they tell you is 40 so the Hepatitis B test is very, very expensive. Knowing very well that Naira is depreciating on daily basis. A drug costs not less than 40,000 Naira to manage. You can manage that. Why contact the fashion that you can easily prevent from having or prevent yourself from having. You do the test before you say, I do know the guy HIV status, know the guy hepatitis B status, know the ladies hepatitis C status, and you are good to go. That is Don't you think also that um, reproductive organ, or how would I put it that, to do, to check, the reproductive, the functionality. Yeah, I'm coming there, I'm coming there. The other test you need to do is, you have to run syphilis test. That when you do serology, serology covers for HIV, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and syphilis. Just, you want to do serology, all of these, these four are covered in it. And it's not expensive, trust. Another test you can do is that for the ladies, they can do pelvic ultrasound. Pelvic ultrasound to ensure that all our viscera, all our organs are in place. Are reproductive, are reproductive organs are in place, they are intact. You don't want to go and get married to a lady who has, who does he have a womb? Or a lady who has both womb and testes inside. Right? Or a girl doesn't have anything in there. Do you understand? So, another, another... For, so, which means that for the ladies, they should do the pelvic ultrasound to yeah. check, ascertain the 
functionality of their uterus. It's not actually the functionality. You are checking if they are present. If they are present. Yeah, if they are there. If they are there. Yeah, for a man now. Yeah, you don't think they should do spell count. Yeah, you do see me analysis for the guys. And hormonal hormonal tests as well. Uh, hormonal hormona tests are actually not necessary. Oh, those see guys. Yeah, actually, you that is, if you can, if you feel like you can do that, but it doesn't guarantee that even when the test come out and for this fertility test, hundred percent that in the next one week or the next one month you can, because sometimes you find couples who are they are healthy, they are they are hundred percent perfect, okay, but they are having delay in giving having, having children. children. Why someone that the fertility test shows 20%, 30%, 50% get to have children on time. So, although if you can, it's still okay if you want to do that. But it doesn't guarantee that once, it, once the test says you are 100% okay that you can have children because there are other factors they are might along the line affect it. So, which other tests do you think they should also do? Okay, I've talked about semi analysis yeah you do semi analysis you want to know the sperm count of this guy you want to know the the morphology of the sperm right you want to know the viability of the sperm right if the sperm is viable you want to know if this person even has sperm cells at all now that a guy do ejaculate does not mean that the the semen Contains sperm cells. We've seen some persons who have they do ejaculate normally, but there is no single sperm cell inside the ejaculation. It's just secretion from from the uh, prostate alone that you see there, prostate and the seminal gland alone that you see there. There is nothing coming from the testes. You do this test to know if. The sperm count is okay. If the shape and the structure of the sperm cells are okay, okay. to know the number of the sperm cells that are present in it, to know the viability, the strength of the sperm cells. You get right? That is the reason. Another, you want to say something? Yeah. Okay. You do this because you want to know. So that you won't have to like go get married to someone at the end, you now find that out. This person doesn't have anything in there. You get there is nothing in there. It's just it's just water that is that is coming out. Now, actually, these are the tests you need to do. Omona analysis, uh, they are not necessary. They are not necessary. Uh, I know what I'm saying. It's not actually one of those eight important eight important tests that you need to do. Omona analysis is one yeah, of them. But if you want money, to, you yeah, if you it. want to, it's expensive anyway. Especially you do a monologue as you are spending less than that. 12,000 naira for each person. You get it. You are spending less than 12,000. But if you want to do it, fine. Fine. But these eight I listed, you got to do them to be safe. You got to do them. You don't want to like get sexually transmitted disease after getting married. No. Not just sexually transmitted. From sexually transmitted, you can easily treat them. But these ones I mentioned. They are difficult to be treated. Treating them is very difficult. You don't want to like get them. And they are expensive. Yeah. That's another point. They are very, very expensive. Nobody wants to contact each other. No way. <laughs> nobody wants to contact each other. No way. See, nobody. Nobody. See, Phyllis, nobody. Nobody. You get it. But you can prevent them. You can prevent having a child, a sickle cell disease child. You can prevent destroying your children by yourself. Tidily prevented. You can prevent having sexually transmitted disease like the three we mentioned. I mean the four we mentioned. You can prevent getting married to a lady who doesn't have womb and all of those things. And a man. And a man who, who, who have a low sperm count. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not being biased. I'm not. I'm not being. I'm just. I'm just Let saying the way. Okay, to it's like, all right. You know? It's all right. It's all right. You can prevent getting married to a guy who doesn't have who, who the sperm count is extremely low. Right. 
You can prevent all of this by simply doing these eight tests before you say I do. So thank you so much for gracing our beautiful channel. And thank guys, you. I hope you've learned. If you are married already, fine. You can still share this video to those who are preparing for marriage. And if you are intending couples, please save yourself the emotional pain, the emotional trouble. Because marriage is sweet and it's beautiful. But you don't need to start on that on the basis of having issues that you should have prevented from the onset. A broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. Hundred percent correct. Because there are some. If any of these things comes up in a marriage, it may end up leading you guys to divorce, which is not something anyone wants. So it's better you avoid it when you can than. Um, acting blind to these things that they don't exist and you end up getting married and you find out that they are real and raw. So if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and share, comment and if not subscribe, I don't know what you're waiting for because you're going to miss a whole lot. And there are good news that will be popping up in this channel pretty soon. So if you want to be among the first to know of this good news, Please subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And I love you guys.